This video is to show you how to use a digital protractor to measure angles. So for this problem on the page, you're asked to measure the angle of the ballerina's arms here. And we can use this protractor that I've included. You can drag it anywhere on the page in order to line it up with your angle. If you use the corner squares, you can drag it to make the protractor larger or smaller. Just make sure that you avoid those squares on the middle sides because those are going to make it a funky size and it won't measure properly. If you accidentally grab a middle square and make the protractor look funky like this, just go back to the undo button so you can get it back to its original size. Um, for measuring with a protractor, you really want to be precise and accurate. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom into 200% here. And that way I can really see it carefully. And on this protractor, you want this little cross where the middle line meets the bottom line to line up with the middle point in the angle. And then you want the horizontal line at the bottom to line up with the horizontal line on the angle. So I'm going to drag this over here. And oh, it's not quite there. I've got to drag it up a little bit. Again, it's really important that you're very accurate here. So that looks pretty accurate, but then if I go and I double check this horizontal line, I can see that it's not quite lined up with my line here. And that's where this circle up at the top of the protractor comes in handy. You find this little blue circle, when you put your mouse on top of it, it turns into that little cross. You can click and hold, and it turns your protractor. This one we need to turn just a little bit. And I've turned it, and now you can see, oh, Perfect, that line goes right along the red line there. But now I also notice that my cross isn't exactly lined up. So again, I'm gonna drag it over just a little bit. There we go, and that looks about right. So now to get our measurement, we follow this line up here and we're gonna follow it all the way up to the top number. And this CD ray is extending out to about 60 degrees. So that's how we use our protractor to measure angle ECD.